in this video i discuss about compressibility and bulk modulus so first we discuss about the compressibility it is the ability of fluid to get compress fluid means it is the gas or a liquid means compressibility is the ability of liquid or gas to get compressed gas are more compressible and liquid are less compressible so why gases are more compressible because distance between the two molecules are more in a gases and in a liquid the distance between the two molecules are less that why the gases is more compressible and liquid is less compressible compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus means compressibility is equal to 1 upon bulk modulus so first we understand the definition of bulk modulus bulk modulus is denoted by k so bulk modulus is defined as the ratio of change in pressure to volumetric strains so this theory or these definitions we can explain by considering the piston cylinder arrangement as shown in a figure so here the two figure is that this is a figure a this is the figure b so in a figure a we can see this is the cylinder this is the piston and here the some gases is filled and gas have a initial pressure p1 and the initial volume v1 and this stage is called as the fluid before compressions now when we applied certain force onto the piston as shown in a figure so here you see that we applied the force f onto this piston and the gas is compressed and after the compression the gas is reached on the stage 2 any stage 2 the here we use the term p2 and v2 so what is p2 p2 is the final pressure v2 is the final volume of the fluid after compressions so what is change in pressure change in pressure is denoted as the dp and is equal to p2 minus p1 so before compression suppose the pressure is 1 bar and after the compression pressure is 10 bar okay so after the compression pressure is always increase and the volume is always decrease so change in pressure is the 10 minus 1 so we get the answer is the 9 for a change in pressure second term is the change in volume so change in volume is denoted as the dv and it is the v1 minus v2 so why we can write down v1 minus v2 because the v1 is larger v2 is smaller suppose v1 is 5 and v2 is 1 meter cube so it is the 5 minus 1 we get the answer is 4 meter cubes now in this definition we can see it is a two term is used change in pressure and second is the volumetric strains so change in pressure is the p2 minus p1 or we can also say it is the dp but now what is the volumetric strain the volumetric strain is equal to change in volume divided by original volume so we know what is the change in volume change in volume is the v1 minus v2 and this original volume is the v1 so volumetric strain is equal to dv upon v1 so what is equation for bulk modulus so bulk modulus k is equal to according to definition change in pressure to volumetric strain change in pressure is the dp and the volumetric strain is the dv upon v ones and what is the unit of bulk modulus so we know that the change in the pressure means pressure have a certain units and the unit of pressure is newton per meter squares and volumetric strain is the unit less because here suppose with change in volume it is in the meter cubes original volume is also in meter cube so meter cube meter cube is cancelled so volumetric strain have a no unit means unit of bulk modulus is equal to the unit of pressure so here the unit of bulk modulus is newton per meter squares now the second term is the compressibility so here we mention that the compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus means compressibility is defined as the ratio of volumetric strain to change in pressure so compressibility is equal to volumetric strain 
upon change in pressure. Volumetric strain is dV upon V1. Upon change in pressure is the dP. And unit is the meter square upon newtons. So same way here the volumetric strain have no units. Pressure unit is a newton per meter square. So meter square is come in the upper side. So unit of compressibility is the meter square, meter square per newtons. So SI unit of bulk modulus is newton per meter square. And SI unit of compressibility is meter square per newtons. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines or other subject of mechanical engineering for fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines where his link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist